All right, so in the first video, we strictly just talked about the side splitter theorem. But if you recall, our essential understanding that we were going to learn was when two or more parallel lines intersect other lines. So what we learned or what we talked about in the first video was just the side splitter theorem when we had a line that was parallel to the side of our triangle and intersected the other two sides. So now what we're going to do is what happens when we have the two or more lines that are intersected. Right, so here it is the corollary to the side splitter theorem. And if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversals are proportional, meaning that we will create uh, proportions that are equal to each other or ratios that are equal to each other. Um, and if you recall, we kind of learned something like this before where if these two segments were equal, then we knew these two segments were equal. So this isn't something entirely new. But instead of it just being equal, now they're proportional, meaning that their ratios will be equal to each other. And remember, you can kind of create, not kind of, you can create these ratios in different ways than what we have here. It's just being consistent. All right, so they did AB over BC is equal to WX over XY. It's not the only proportion that you can create. Or there's different ones. As long as you're consistent in the way that you create it, you could have done AB over WX, you could have done BC over XY, and that would also be a proportion that works as well. All right, and now this video is really quick because all we're going to do now is this one problem, and we're done. So three campsites are shown in a diagram. What is the length of, side of site A along the river? So they tell us that these lines are parallel, and that means these two lines here, I'll highlight in blue, must be our transversals that they are intersecting. So they want to know what is the length of site A along the river. So they want to know what is this length here. So since these lines are all parallel, we know that this creates proportion. So we can then set up a proportion where it's the X, the unknown. So I'm going to say X, the unknown, over top of this 8 yards is equal to. So since we did this over this, it would have to go 9 over 7.2. And now we created our proportion. All right, there's different ways that you could have did this as long as you stayed consistent. Um, and then we cross multiply. So then we would get x times 7.2 is equal to 8 times 9. x times 7.2 is 7.2x is equal to 72. Then we would divide each side by 7.2. Oops. Divide each side by 7.2. And we get that x is equal to 10. So that means the site, the length of site A along the river is going to be 10 yards. All right, make sure you include your units when you're doing this. Uh, that's it for this video. And then one more, and we're done with this section.